Welcome everyone to another episode of Deep Rock Galactic. This is gaming for the recently deceased. And of course, apologies, I'm still on vacation, so sorry for the mic quality. But anyway, we're going to be checking out a new weapon which was teased on the devs Twitch stream. And that weapon was dedicated to the engineer. It is the Lock 1 Smart Rifle. So let's sharpen those pickaxes and dive on in. No, I said fart gun. Well, all right, all right, all right. That has been a look at the Lock 1 Smart Rifle designated for the Engineer class. And as always, we'll go through the video and just check everything that we can see. Now, the amazing thing about that rifle, it is the first original idea from the devs live stream that they had on the anniversary. And by original, I mean they showcase four different weapons. And the ones that we are currently missing is the like particle laser beam. Not, not to be confused with the scout car beam. That is a different thing. But on that anniversary stream, they had this, it was using the cryo cannon as the skin. But it had a particle beam, sort of like the machine events tower laser beam. And as well as the crossbow. So it looks like those two weapons, they did not make the cut. And who knows, maybe one day those could be secondaries, or they could be primaries in a future update. We'll never know. But anyway, let's take a look at that video again. So of course this weapon is designated for the engineer. As you can see, it is a submachine gun type weapon, very compact. I assume the word lock maybe stands for lock on. I could be wrong, could be a Danish word. Magazine looks pretty big, about 40, 50 rounds. Now the video coming up, this should show the weapon in its default mode. There won't be any modifications or overclocks. All right, so first up, you can see this weapon can fire in single fire mode. Now I'm not sure what hazard this is, maybe has two, one, but that Glyphid took a massive hit to the face. It was a, pretty much a two hit kill weapon. So assuming this might be like Hazard 2. Now you can see here he's starting up the automatic, the smart fire mode. And those glyphids are being pinged with numbers. 1 through to like 8. And down below, below the crosshead, you can see white squares starting to build up. Now this weapon, I'm not sure the total amount. Maybe there'll be modifications or overclocks that will allow multiple targets beyond a certain number to be allocated. But the white bars down below... We're indicating how many shots we're going to go out. I don't know if that's a timer or if that's exactly how many bullets or like if you're holding down fire once that bar gets to the end, then the gun will release or if that's the how many bullets will be going out. And you can also see that many of the glyphids took multiple hits. So this weapon will do multiple targets as well as one single target. So I'm hoping that you can line up a Praetorian and just unleash like 18 rounds in the back of it. But anyway, the look of the rifle looks very high tech. Now, I'm not sure it is running a custom framework. This could be the custom engineering framework mesh skin that's been applied. Now, what I'm really excited about this weapon is if it has that hard hitting single fire, that's going to bring a lot of accuracy to the engineer, which has sorely been missing with the stubby SMG and the Warthog shotgun. You could take on enemies such as that Mactira, infected spitters or web spitters on the roof. And then where this gun then excels after that, if you have a large horde of swarmers coming at you, you could just ping them all and just take them out like that, or jellies. So this is one of the most unique and versatile weapons in the game. But anyway, that has been a look at the engineer's new Lock 1 Smart Rifle. This is Gaming for the Recently Deceased, with all the Deep Rock Galactic news. How old are you? You're behaving like a ill man of children. Please stop it. Disrespect your surroundings! 